Good morning! Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. So, oh, I have to fix my chair. Why do I always have to do something as soon as the camera starts? I'm missing a wheel and every time I go forward it like clunks and it drives me mental. Something that's like so little but it literally, like I hate it. I'm so weird about stuff like that. Good morning! So, I'm going to take my ring off because ah, ah, I don't know if I can. Yep, there we go. I have to take it off because um when I'm doing the I don't know, it's more comfortable when I not when I when I not wear it. <laughs> so, I am working on the cradle kit, remember? So, this is the third the third one I'm gonna do um, and I also actually want to clarify something too basically this is the way that I this is the way that I paint so it's not I'm not saying you have to paint this way or this is what is gonna make a bean baby um, I paint the way that I like to paint because it's just very natural for me so uh, you will, you'll find your stride. You will find your stride is all I have to say. You could always, I'm constantly changing things. And um, as you guys know, I love the fantasy babies. So, uh, so there's nothing wrong with um, changing it up and trying some, some different, some different things. I generally don't you like to use pl plain white because um, it makes it, it makes it like uh um, like powder, like raw. I call it raw paint because um, it when you when you bake it, it kind of has like that sheen to it, and it and you can feel the difference. But when the paint is raw, um, it's like gritty. And sometimes you can use the linseed oil to, you know, for that. But I generally don't use that until like towards the end. So um, when I look at this baby, I envision what I'm going to do to her. So wait, that sounded, oh God, I don't even know how to edit that out. Um, anyways, change the subject, change the subject. <laughs> so anyways, because I make fantasy babies and my dolls are one of a kind to me, um, I, I like to, and by saying that, I just mean I don't make normal reborns. I make all kinds of different ones. So when I see a kit, I'll envision what it'll be at the end and um and then i'll start painting it but every so often it will change so that's the funny part is sometimes i'll change my mind like halfway through and which is totally totally normal so i'm not um giving specific uh instructions and stuff because um the way i do things is i i, I guess quite different i had no idea either but um so if you make normal reborns, these tips will help you, but you'll have, probably have to adjust your color a little bit depending on what kit you're working on. So this baby's really cute. When I look at her, I see a clown, but she's big, and I don't know if I want to make one that big. Um, and also, like, I'm not sure yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint do the do the basics on her first and then once I like I have an envision oh, god I'm so scattered today Ugh. oops did I just move my camera yes I did what a nerd I am so I need to get something to like hold my camera properly because it's in my sponges <laughs> um anyways uh what was I gonna say so I'm gonna just let's see Let's see here. What would I like to do here, Missy? <laughs> oh my God, I don't want to be a clown. Like, seriously, give me some eyes. <laughs> I can't even see you right now, you friggin' crazy person. <laughs> uh, shoot. So, anyways, I have an idea of maybe what I want to put her as, but... I don't know for sure. So I'm just going to like mix up some color and hopefully it works. Do you hear that? Listen, listen. It's quiet. 
It's so quiet! <laughs> Why am I so crazy? Oh yeah, it's probably because I'm an artist. Can you guys see? Let me put you up a little more there. This has been really fun actually. Do Oh my God, look what I did. Do you see that? Okay, I just splattered paint all over her face. Nice mother I am. So I like to start with the limbs, the limish limbs. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my secret recipe, my secret recipe in here. <laughs> really not though it's funny when I so I'm a self-taught artist so um, I basically the stuff that I do really is natural to me like and and it's funny because uh, this is how I know I meant to be an artist because I struggled in school like so so badly and no matter what no matter what they taught me, I always struggled really, really badly. And um, it was difficult. Like, it was really, school was really difficult for me. And my best was never good enough. You know, because I wanted to do good in school. And I wanted to do good in sports. But, like, I never made the sports teams, ever. Even though I was, like, a dancer. I was, like, I'm terrible at sports. So, but I always wanted to. Because I always wanted to, like, please my teachers and stuff, right? So it was a constant struggle. But when it comes to painting, it's completely opposite. And there's things that I do that I find to be quite quirky. But I just watched a video of Melissa George that's on YouTube. You guys should check it out. It's about her air dry paints. And um, she did a couple things that I do. And I was like, oh! Oh my God, somebody else does that. <laughs> it was so funny and it was the paint. When I do, I'll show you guys, I'll do, I'm gonna do a, um, a hair painting video, but um, when she was painting some details, it's how she put the paint, I put the paint right here. And it's just something that I do. And it seems like I all the stuff that I've done by accident has like worked out. It's just weird. And that's how I know I'm supposed to be doing this because it just like gives me a huge creative outlet and um, so it just it validates me being an artist you know it's not there's no struggle there's a struggle because I am a natural artist and so I a lot of the time will second guess myself it's like oh will they you know when I ship a doll oh will they like it like what, should I do this idea or should it should I do that and I'm full of ideas too like I I I don't even know it's like extraterrestrial I swear like I envision the doll in my head after it's done like after it's all done like before I even start I envision what it's going to be and when I talk to my mom about it um, she's like no, that, that's something that a lot of people can't do. Like, they'll envision it, they'll have the idea, but to make that idea come to life is, um, is not, not an easy thing. So that's why it's just really interesting. Like, it's really, I love being a doll artist. Like, it has fulfilled me in every aspect of my life. Like, I love being creative I love it and my dolls have kind of like metamorphosized is that the word oh my god did I say that right <laughs> my god I said such a big word in the morning did you hear that da Vinci I said metamorphosize it's like my dog is the only one home with me right now and I'm like talking she didn't even come into the room. She's like, whatever, my mom's crazy. But um, yeah, they have like really changed. They've really changed. Um, I mean, they're still like, it's still like idea. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. All I know is I'm meant to be an artist, a doll artist. And years ago, I was so depressed. Like I felt like, 
I hadn't found my place in the world and I didn't think I was ever going to. And, um, God, I was just so depressed. I was just like, oh, is this my life? Like, God. Uh. And then I discovered Reborns. But the funny thing is about that is I never made normal ones. The, the ones that I made were all different, like with the vampires and the zombies and, you know, the really c cute but creepy with the glowing eyes. And um, people hated me at first. At first they were like, some people loved me, but then some people hated me. They were just like, you're messed up in the head for doing that. But perseverance is everything. And you know what? I just said another big word first thing in the morning. <laughs> but seriously. Seriously, though, it's like perseverance is everything. Timing is everything. And devotion. I was so, I am so devoted to my work. Like, I am so devoted to my work. Like, I don't, I love making dolls. And it's like in my blood. It's in my blood and in my soul. And I know that I've told you guys that before, but it's true. And the truth shall set you free. That's what they say. It's what they say. So I'm doing the last limmy limb here. I have to go to Costco today. My poor dogs need dog food. They got like they ran out fully ran out today so I have to do that and I'm hoping that well actually it's Monday so darn it I should have went there on the weekend and then videotaped it for you guys about the milk conspiracy should it what was I thinking what was I thinking you guys what was I oh yeah I wasn't thinking so yep I was thinking about, you know what I've always wanted to do? I have always literally have wanted to make a memory book because I have such a great memory of when I was a child and like things that have happened in my life. But now I have a terrible, it's like now my brain is like going stupid. It's like I remember my long-term memory is really good, but my short-term memory is terrible. So. I've been wanting to write stuff down before I completely forget altogether and certain things trigger it like that's why I wanted to have I want to have like a book with me at all times and just jot down like certain memories like oh today I was sipping peppermint tea and I thought about when I was three years old and blah 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 you know so just in case those are not triggered again but I so want to do that because I remember so, I even remember dreams that I've had when I was like three years old. And that is just crazy, right? Like I specifically remember certain dreams. I'm such a dreamer. Like I have really real, real dreams. Like it's scary. Like this is why I believe in like different dimensions <laughs> and aliens and the universe because there's things that I dream about that I mean I know that they say the brain it like stores information differently or it stores information and that's what you're dreaming but then I've also heard that you dream what relatives have dreamt like have experienced in their life because dreams are genetic or like the brain that dreams certain things is genetic so but I mean, there's no way to prove that, but I definitely believe that there's some sort of like extraterrestrial stuff going on because I dream like crazy. It's, it's like I'm there. It's like I'm there experiencing, experiencing it. It's really weird. And I dream out loud all the time to see things and reach for things. God, I wish I could videotape that for you guys. I am so nuts in the middle of the night. I do crazy stuff. It's awesome. It's awesome, but not awesome at the same time. Because sometimes I just want to sleep. 
which I never slept for the first 20 years of my life because I have insomnia. But now I'm good because I take meds. But they're not sleeping pills either. They're just like, I don't know, some chemical I don't produce. But I'm telling you my dreams. I wish I could just like plug something into my brain. So actually that probably wouldn't be good because you guys would be like, what the fudge? I mean, I think that's why I'm so creative. I think it's all connected. So now I just did one more coat of this color. Um, and so now I'm gonna bake it and then I'll probably, after this, I'll probably start doing some uh, build up the color. So I will keep you posted. Thanks for watching, bye.